Many of our generation has jumped on the teen vampire novel wagon. But is this the right choice for our generation? Is this the only type of literature we should be feeding our minds? The answer is no. The sad truth is, is that the books are fun and entertaining. And though the men are beautiful, they are the fluff of literature. Uh, this is a funny spoof from the site that Anna showed us on Blackboard. And I find it very true because there are a lot of, there's so many errors in the books. I'm, I'm using, I'm going to pick on Twilight. I know that this has a lot of like the teen novels in it, but Twilight's a good example just because it's everyone knows it. A lot of people have read it. I've read it. I've read all of the books. And that's why I feel as though I can pick on it. And this one is talking about the a lot of a lot of the descriptive terms that she uses that are just they just they're, they're not accurate and they're silly. And they I, I think they're these things are hilarious. Um, another thing is that um, fancy adjectives are not a substitute for good writing. Well, you just put fancy words in like fluid or they ran like a gazelle or his face was like stone. I mean, it's, it, that's not a, that's not, that doesn't define it as a good book. And here's a, um, I, I put it, this in here, I thought it was funny, but I hadn't realized how hard it, hard it was pouring outside. Edward stood in a halo of the porch light looking like a male model in advertisement for raincoats. And it shows all different kinds of raincoats on um, humorous people who aren't necessarily attractive, or dogs. <laughs> um, some of the, the teen vampire <clears throat> novel authors that I've read that I they they're they're fun books. They're really I really think that they have their place as entertainment. But they're the same places if you can't say that you learn your life values from a movie such as The Hangover or Get Him to the Greek. Uh, they're silly movies. They're funny. They're awesome to watch and you laugh and they're fun. But they're not something you should base base your like opinions on or things like that, because they're, they're meant for entertainment. Oh, by the way, these up here, Midnight Predator, Demon My View, Shattered Mirror, if you've read any of those, I'm sorry. Otherwise, don't read these. They're horrible. <laughs> like, I, Twilight actually is fun to read. These, those are just those are silly. Um, some of the alternative authors that, you know, there's so many amazing authors out there, but some of them are Lois Lowry, and she wrote The Giver, Gathering Blue, The Messenger, and those are really, those are really fantastic books. There's <coughs> Sherman Alexie, and he writes, um, he writes realistic um, settings on Indi um, Indians in a reservation, and they're really, they're really hilarious. But they're also really realistic, and they give you an insight insight to the problems of the modern day <coughs> Indian reservations. And, and you you learn a lot from them because he's he's like a, I think a quarter Indian. He grew up on reservation. Um, Ellie Wiesel, he's a survivor of the Holocaust, <coughs> and he wrote, he's wrote several books, but well, the one I've read is um, Night, and it's translated from um, German. But it's, it tells about his sto story in life at the Holocaust camps, and it's, it's a very moving book. And I feel like when people just read fun books, they miss the experience of, of reading things that really move you deeply. And Suzanne Collins, she wrote um, The Hunger Games, if anyone's read those. She also wrote Gregor the Underlander, which is a chill, um, the Underlander series, which are children's books, but they're still really good. Um, Joanne Boyle, she wrote The Boy in the Striped Pajama, or he wrote The Boy in the Striped Pajama, sorry. Um, each other talks about the Holocaust. <coughs> um, if, you, if you love vampire books, an amazing, an amazing author is Anne Rice. She writes, she writes vampire books. But she does. Um, she usually puts historical terms in them. She writes them as if they're today, um, and I I find those are very interesting. She has 
a lot. Some of them are Interview with Vampire, which they made out of a movie, Queen of the Damned, which is also a movie, um, Blood Canicle, which is not, and then Mamak the Devil. Um, here are my sources. <coughs> It, um, Twilight and a lot of the books, they're very good books. They're really fun to read. But it's entertaining. And it's not meant, it's, it is meant for entertainment. It's not meant for growth of the mind. It's meant to have, to read it for fun. I read Twilight in a day, and it was fun. I had my wisdom teeth out, and I had nothing to do. It was great. But they are, that's what they're for. They're for entertainment. And I feel like they're... <coughs> that's what they're there for. That they can't compare to, to books that actually have depth and life purpose and things that are important for us to learn about. And, and, it's a, and those things help define us as a person and help define what we believe. Because what you read and, and what you watch can become what you are. That's the end. <laughs>